This is Renee Romeo. Today I'm going to show you how to paint cabinetry. And there really is a, a trick to doing this right so that you get a beautiful finish out of it. You won't see the brush marks uh, from any of the brushes that you're using. And uh, I guess Kenzie's going to join us today for this. So really all you need, you need a nice paint brush and you need another product. Um, what I have here is a Zinsser 123 primer. Uh, Kills also makes one, but this is the one that you get where you don't need to sand your cabinetry in, uh, in order to get the paint to stick to it. And this is really important. This is the most important part of the whole process is that you get the right primer for the job. So this is stained, it has polyurethane on it, but believe it or not, this will stick to it and it'll help you get your paint to stick to it. So all I'm doing at this point, this has been washed down with just some mild laundry detergent uh, and it's ready to go. Uh, I prefer at this point to prime it first and then go back over it and see if there are any issues with it regarding caulk. Uh, so I'm going to, I know that there are two different cabinets here that I've put together and I need to caulk in between that, but it will also reveal to me any areas maybe in the doors where you'll see a crack eventually where the two wood surfaces aren't coming together just properly. So we'll go ahead and caulk those after we prime. Now you need to remove all of your drawers and all of your door fronts. And what I like to do is I'll take the screws and I'll just set them right inside the cabinet that I'm working on. Um, the reason why I do that is because I don't want to lose them. Then you remove all of your hinges from your doors and you're ready to go. Uh, you really do need to do this. You can't paint the cabinets with the doors on. Uh, it's not going to turn out, turn out nice. You really do need to do this in order to do So in general when I'm jobs. painting, uh, I do paint in the direction of the grain. Even though you won't be seeing any of these brush marks, um, this is, if you'll notice, um, you really can do kind of a bang up job here. It doesn't have to be terribly neat at this point uh, because you're going to go over it with your paint. So just make sure that you're not putting it on too thick where you're going to have drips or too thin where you're not actually covering over the existing wood nicely. So just like that um, is really what you need to do over the entire cabinet. As well as painting the fronts, you really do need to make sure that you're painting this inside portion of the wood uh, right behind the door because when you open this unit, you're going to want to make sure that this is painted very nicely on the inside too. So just like that, and then hit the front, and that's what you'll do anywhere there's a door or a Now the drawer. doors are a different story. So out here I had a couple of mason jars, and it's usually a good idea to just prop this up off the floor. And I'll start one side first, and obviously I have to do the other side. So this is going to take twice as long as the actual cabinet is. Um, so you'll have your cabinet all done and you'll be waiting to flip these over, but uh, it's all right. You know, the, this coat right here takes about an hour to dry. Um, it's a little cool today. It's a cool fall day. So I'm going to make sure that this dries at least two hours before I go back and put any paint over the top. Um, you know, even if I wait until tomorrow, that's fine too. So again, you're just going to coat over it with a, a light to medium coat making sure that you're not seeing any of the plain stain underneath. And that's really all you need to do at this point, making sure that there aren't any drips. When you're done doing the door, make sure you go around the entire perimeter, making sure that there aren't any drips. Door, there are cracks all along the edges here. And basically what I've done, I have a caulk gun that has this little attachment. So I've trimmed off the edge of my caulk tube um, about an eighth or three sixteenths of an inch down and then angle it and then you take this piece of uh, metal and you put it into the tube and poke out there's a little piece of foil uh, in this portion of the tube that you need to poke through so you poke through that and then you load it up and so um, make sure that your tip is pointed this way and that you have your gun pointed this way so that you can get a really nice bead into this edge so just ever so slowly you're just going to go ahead and apply this caulk all along this edge. Now I'm assuming that your cabinets will have the same exact issues as mine. Um, so this is the, what you're going to do. So now I have one 
pretty wet rag and one dry rag. And so the wet rag, I'm just going to go ahead and wet my finger and I usually use my index finger to do this and really smooth this out. Um, but it's really just a quick swipe with a wet finger. And then I'm just going to go ahead and clean it off as I go. Get, make sure that I'm getting it in all of the cracks because you don't want this crack to show through. It's not going to look like a professional paint job. And basically what I'm using here too is just what they call painter's caulk. And this is just for this purpose to fill in any little cracks or any little divots that you might find in natural wood that you want to fill in quickly and efficiently. So this is going to dry a couple of hours before I go ahead and put on the paint color. Um, you can go ahead even too and just get this wet rag in there and neaten it up and make sure that it looks really nice and even all the way across. And there we go. It's the next day and I'm ready to go ahead and put on my very first coat of paint. Now usually this takes just a couple of coats. So um, what I'm going to do here is again, I'm just going to go ahead and brush on uh, the actual paint. Now this paint is an exterior paint. It's a satin finish. Now, let me explain a couple things. Um, normally, if you were doing an interior painting, I would say to go with a semi-gloss. The semi-gloss paint is going to give you the durability that you need uh, to make it through daily use. Um, but in my case, this is a seldom used cabinet, so I can go ahead and use the satin finish. Uh, the satin finish, it, it's not that it's not durable, it's just a little less durable than the finish that you would get out of a semi-gloss. So, uh, that being said, once I get this entire drawer front covered, uh, I'm going to show you my secret weapon to getting the perfect finish uh, on. So hopefully you can see this. Now I have a pretty good coverage on my first coat and you can see all the brush marks uh, so it's it's fairly thick compared to what you did for your uh, primer um, but here's my secret weapon now this is just um, a six inch nap roller um, it's relatively low nap and so i'm just going to go ahead then and just roll over the top of this now again you're going to be taking off some of the paint that's on here but this is a two coat process anyway so uh, whatever you wind up doing here you're going to be doing a second coat on um, so this is the most important part because this is the finish and so you're just going to gently roll over all of your surfaces making sure that you don't have any more of those brush marks left over and that is the secret to getting perfect finish uh, and again don't forget about these little areas on the insides of the doors and the drawers because when you open this unit to look inside you should have it textured the exact same way as the outside finish so you'll see the texturizing of the doors happens in the exact same way as the cabinet and what I'm doing, I'm just going ahead and brushing over the top again, and I'm taking my roller. Now, this I don't have a paint tray or anything. This is just starting out as a dry item. So the dry item is gonna go straight over the top of the door and making sure that you get into all of the nook and crannies, nooks and crannies uh, for each and every surface. That way you'll get a nice even texture over the entire thing. I'm on to the third and final coat for the cabinets. Uh, in this case, I'm doing it exactly the same way as I did the second coat. I'm making sure that I'm getting into all the nooks and crannies and really making sure that this is nicely covered with paint. Now again, um, it's not a matter of slopping the paint on. You know, I, this is about a medium coat that I'm doing here and I'm just going to neaten it up slightly and then go back in and again with a dry roller. Uh, this roller is only being used to texturize you're not applying paint with this roller uh, and you can see the very first coat dried to a really nice sheen. I really love the satin paint um, and this is something that you can do on cabinetry that you're not going to be using maybe in a kitchen where, you're, where you'll have greasy fingers. I don't think this is going to hold up very well to greasy fingers. Um, and if you do want to have a satin finish in your kitchen, you'll do your, your two coats of paint 
and then you'll do another two coats of satin finish polyurethane and that's going to be the latex based polyurethane you don't want to use uh, 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 oil based polyurethane over a paint finish like this because over time it'll start to yellow and it'll really interfere with the coloring on your cabinetry. So go ahead and get the latex version of that if that's what you'd like to do. finished and everything is back in place and you'll see I didn't wind up putting knobs on the front because I didn't think it needed it. It's nice and clean looking and it's really going to be a durable thing outside underneath the covered porch. Uh, so if you have something like this in your house Go ahead and attempt it. Yeah, it takes a few days in between drying, but really there's not a whole lot of time that goes into a project like this. So uh, I hope you'll try it at home. Anyway, this is Renee Romeo. Thank you again so much for watching this project, and I'll bring you another one very soon.